Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are continuing with our Lowdown and Tutorial series. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be actually going through understanding that how to set up your Lowdown instance, how to get set install and make use of it. Of course, it becomes sometimes complicated for many of us to set up some of the complicated tools which might require some of the settings to be done at very initial point of time while doing the basic installation. That's where I create this tutorial to help you all to understand at the beginning of the tutorial that how you can actually configure and install your own load runner instance in your machine to make use of it while I teach you something new every particular episode. So let's get started and understand how you can actually set up your load runner in your particular machine. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be actually setting up the LoadRunner instance on our machine. In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to install LoadRunner, how to configure LoadRunner, and how to get started with LoadRunner instance. In order to get started, all we have to do is get to the Google and just type LoadRunner download, and you will have the very first instance to talk about how to download the trial version of the LoadRunner. Just click on the link here which is to download the trial version of Loadrunner which is a product of Microfocus right now. Once you click on this particular link, it will navigate you to the Microfocus page and provide you all the necessary versions which are available as on today. Now we have different editions from the Loadrunner on this particular instance that is community edition with additional components, standalone application and community edition language packs that means local roadrunner community edition can also be localized based on your languages so you can go ahead and download this patch if you want to make use of any of your specific local language right now we'll be making use of this and i have already downloaded this so i'm not going to download it now it will take some time as the size of the file may be a little higher like 1.2 gigs so make sure that you have some patience to get this file downloaded you may also be required to have a a user account on the Microfocus page to try this particular download. You can just turn out, uh, download without a particular account. So just make sure that you have signed up your account, verified your email address and download this particular instance. Once downloaded with this particular instance, you would also need a component, which is an application to start working on this particular application. So we will be making use of a standard application, which is web tour sample application, which is a product of Microfocus itself. For this, to download this particular application, you need to navigate to marketplace.microfocus.com, which is the web URL of this marketplace of Microfocus, and you can search for the web tour sample application. And again, there's a button to download it directly here. You may require the same sign in, which you created for the previous instance to download this particular app. Once done with the downloading of this particular app, you will actually have two files with you. So right now, if you see my community edition is 1.03 gigs and a web tours zip file, which consists all the necessary files to be installed on my machine to enable it. So here LoadRunner is my tool, which I'll be using it for the performance testing, which consists of all the three components, which is basically to uh, do the view gen, controller and analysis. So let's run this the setup here. The very first page which will be popped up will be actually asking you to set up any of the pending components which might be required. As I have done this installation already on my machine before, there are no pending components except the load runner component that is community edition. If in case you have any other requirement like Visual Studios or C++ language packs which are required to read the script will be shown here and all the installation will be done automatically which you don't have to worry about. Once you are done with all the initial add-ins and setup done, then this will again pop up to install the load runner. So all the prerequisite will be automatically stored from the directory and you must be connected to internet to download them. So this setup will automatically download all the required prerequisite and install it on your machine. Once done, you can continue installing your community edition of the load runner. Just click on install and continue with the progress. Once done with all the setup, you will finally have to install the load runner installation. So just you will have a pop up here starting to welcome to the Microsoft uh, Microfocus load runner setup wizard and click on next. 
As I have already installed, I told you it's looking for the repair or remove option, which will not be prompted to you. So let me just go ahead with the repair option, click on repair, and we'll just do the basic installation process, which you basically need to do that. And uh, once this installation completes, it will just ask you for the licensing part, which is very important to use a typical temporary license to run this particular instance. Once the installation completes, just click on the Finish button. It will prompt you for making your system restart, which you can definitely do it later as well. So that's up to you, but I would recommend you strongly to go for restarting your machine right after the installation. Once done with the installation of the LoadRunner component, now it's time to set up our web application, which we will be using as a demo application to test or use LoadRunner. You will have this particular file which is downloaded from the marketplace of microfocus as webtours.1.0. Now just extract it here in order to see all the details. Once done with the extraction, you would find a, another application here called as Strawberry Pearl, which creates basically the interfaces on which this application runs. So just double click in order to install that. And it's very simple and easy to install. Just click accept the agreement and say install. Now this installation will basically set up the interface required for the web tours as an application to run on a browser-based interface. Now this is a dummy-based application which is basically used to learn the LoadRunner. Of course, in real time, you can make use of LoadRunner to use it on any other application as well. The only reason we are making use of this application is to try with all possible options because this dummy application has got all that issues, defects which you want to experience while learning the load runner. Once done with the installation, you can actually go to the properties of the windows to access the environment variables and see if there is a path created on the same or not. If in case there is no path created for the same, you may have to create one for the path access. So if I go to my path and click on edit, I don't see that strawberry path is already created. So that's it. You are done to make use of it. Now cancel everything and just uh, go ahead with extracting the WebTours application. And inside the WebTours application, you will have your path. So there is a file here called a start server. Okay start server file which is basically the local server or an apache server to basically run 
your application. So your application is actually installed on this start server and you just have to double click on this in order to start it. Once started, it will prompt about making use of a firewall, say yes. Just allow access, it's not going to impact anything on your machine, but yes, will give you access to use this particular I application and using this IP address. That's it. You're all set to get started with the first component of your view gen. And here you would see that there are other components. We have got views in where the yellow color represents the view gen, the green color represents the controller, and the blue color represents the analysis. We will be looking forward to get started with virtual user generator in our upcoming sessions. And I'll tell you if there is any basic configuration required to get started with virtual user generator. You need to make sure that your server is up all the time you're using LoadRunner. In case you don't have the server up, you may not be able to record any script using the view gen or run a scenario using the controller or analyze the results using the analysis. So make sure that you first turn on your server before you get started with any of these components. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.